If you haven't already, I'm gonna invite you right now to pre-crap your pants because today is gonna get really spooky. All right. Hello guys, my name is Biju Mike. Okay, you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too crazy because this is a scary video. My art. Okay. Okay, now the video that we're gonna start off today is called a creepy deep web story to animated Okay, I seen Corey Kenshin react to this and also a few other people Okay, and I, I mean it, it looks scary from what I saw and it's actually been a long time since we've reacted to llama arts guys So if you haven't already check out llama arts uh, Amazing animation channel that does scary spooky Okay Animation. I will link them down below. Uh, it's much more enjoyable if you go watch their video first. And don't worry guys I know you're asking but I did pre crap my pants. Uh, so I'm just like way ahead of you So, you know, feel free to do that now if you haven't already A creepy deep web story too. I was 26 years old and I was unemployed I'm sorry. I know we're like a second in the video, but I just got to point out I'm 26 and that almost looks exactly like me and I'm basically unemployed. Feeling unfulfilled by the monotony of a job life, I decided I would try my hand at working from home. Oh my, my god! Days and it even looks like my computer. Surfing the internet for any I'm not jobs even joking. I could get. I was a big procrastinator, so more often than not, I'd stray away and waste time doing other things. One Pewdie day, <laughs> PewDiePie? I watched PewDiePie. I have a webcam just like that. Oh god. Now it has nothing. To, it has nothing to do with me being a normie or anything like that. This is totally freaking me. One day, I came across talk about the deep web while on Reddit. I felt amused by the people talking about it, as if it was something so scary. I yeah, I've heard about it too. Decided I'd look into it. Oh, it I, was I wouldn't do that. Stupid of me though. to go on it in the first place. Yeah. But I made it even sillier by deciding to check it out late at night. It was about 2 a.m. and I came across a website where you could chat with someone anonymously. I don't like this already, not one bit. Oh my god. <laughs> this man over here is chatting with the grudge. Oh. Sorry, I gotta review my kanji. Sorry. And to make it worse, he's all it's almost 3 p.m. AM. You you know what happens at 3 a.m., right? You can look it up on YouTube. Uh lots of things happen at 3 a.m. to a lot of people. I don't know why someone would make this stupid mistake. The person I got was a woman. She was in her early 20s and very pretty. Ooh, she looks she sat scary, with her head actually. In her hands, I don't looking playful into the webcam while batting her eyes. Oh my god. I had no desire to turn my camera on and started our chat, thinking that while I didn't come across anything scary, I could befriend this pretty girl. It sounded hey, like how a better deal anyway. <laughs> He's got about the skills of romancing that I do as well. She told me to turn the camera on. But I ignored that request. I was gonna say to it looks like talk. it's it looks like it's she on. She finally did after some prodding, but I noticed how guarded she was. Guarded. I also noticed how after every message I sent, her eyes would look off camera, either to her side or somewhere behind her computer. Oh no! Holy crap! After a while, it started getting annoying, so I asked her if someone else was there with her. I want to see you first. She oh, said. Oh wow! Oh. Wow, that voice. That, we have. Wait, this is freaking awesome, Llama Arts. I love this quality. Uh, first of all, I have three screens. You guys don't get to see that, but I have three screens. So often I will look off the screen to, you know, look at something else. So let's just assume for our safety that that's what this, you know, that's what's going on right now. I want to see you first. She said. Up until now, I'd been chatting while she'd answered my questions verbally. I'm not that curious. Don't be scared. She said, laughing, don't, don't this time scared. looking behind the laptop again and making a oh face God. that seemed to indicate she was laughing at my expense with oh my God. someone else. I know what's really going on. You guys remember that one YouTuber? What's her name? Ah, what's her name? There was that YouTuber that everyone, that everyone thought that she was she was kidnapped because she kept looking off the camera and it looked really suspicious and she acted really weird. What's her name? Leave, please leave a comment. I cannot remember it. <sighs> this is getting boring. It feels like I'm not just talking to you. That's because you're not. You're talking to all of us. Oh us no. There. All of us. Camera on. Oh no. Oh, wow, this is giving me chi chills. Okay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah, yeah, okay, go while you can. On the camera. Her laughter was almost piercing by now. There was nothing humorous about the situation, yet she threw her head back with riotous Oh laughter. god, look at those lips! <laughs> I'd had enough and moved the cursor over to turn the chat box off when I saw the cursor had jammed. 
The only thing that was working oh, was the it's, chat box. It's, it's Monica 2.0. still had access to the keyboard. Oh, she Turn hacked the you. camera on, sweetie. Her gumdrop-filled voice was louder than before, and I moved my gaze up to see her smiling toothfully at the camera. Hey, sweetie. Her face sweetie. still beautiful, but the smile completely fake. Oh my, my god. My computer's crashed. I can't see the screen. Sorry. I lied. I didn't want her to know I had no option but to chat. Her screen flashed before going blank. This is it's basically his fault, okay? This is it's basically his fault for going to the dark web. They call it the dark web for a reason. Now, you know, I don't really know much about the dark web. I do know that it exists. It's bad, okay? Have you ever played Welcome to the Game? All right, it's you get on the dark web, you're probably not going to just bad things will happen as we can plainly see here in this it this situation animated mic situation Turn the camera on sweetie her screen flashed before going blank there was nothing there but a black screen I felt relieved thinking that at least I didn't need to talk to her while I tried to figure out what happened to the screen just then a chat message popped up Open the damn camera, you... Oh. The aggressiveness oh. in the message frightened me. Now, the fact that I couldn't see her face while she typed this made me feel nervous. Yeah. I didn't dare reply back. But then oh. the cursor moved. Oh, crap. I watched shell-shocked as the cursor twirled around the screen. Oh, is he gonna turn on this camera? Open the camera, now. I still didn't make a move. Holy crap. There was no I... way anything good would be waiting oh, for me this is so... It's, it's actually scaring me. The screen began flickering, as if a virus was causing the computer to writhe in agony. I mean, you want me to find you? My heart raced. Could it be possible she knew where I was? It basically he I asked for typing. it. Please stop bothering me. Then turn on the fucking camera. Mm. By this point, I thought she was some kind of sadist. Language. And got her kicks by scaring unassuming people in chat rooms. So I obliged and turned the webcam on. God, I saw what? my frightened face staring into the screen. Judging by my face, my attempts at looking tough were painfully unsuccessful. Yeah, why I would you actually comply? I asked for the girl looking straight into the camera, telling her I did what she wanted and to stop hacking into my computer. There were several seconds of silence. I kept my stare directed to the little box that showed her camera feed, but it was pitch black. I motioned into the camera in confusion, feeling as if she was messing with me now. Then, I saw another message. Look here. After a few seconds of Where? staring at those words, I looked back at her camera, but my computer instantly malfunctioned, and I received another message. Look here. Don't look up. The chat was filled with nonsensical gibberish. Oh no! She typed with such ferocious speed, my screen Holy whirled crap. away with her constant messages. I couldn't understand what was going on. Didn't they make like a movie about this? What was the one where they're like on the webcams and then they're like... <laughs> they start dying? <laughs> Did he not watch the movie? I didn't either, but... Come on, Michael! What the heck, dude? You should know better. You should be smarter. She's basically Monica like 3.0. Except way more scarier. Look up. My patience ran thin, and I wrote back. What is this supposed to mean? Her response came. I read only the letters in bold and shuddered. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look. Oh, no. Oh, no. She kept looking up. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I don't like this. I'm never using my computer again. Back into her webcam, and I fell back into my chair. My no. eyes widened. Holy crap! She was back there. Only her face looked completely demented. Holy she crap! Had a this is actually expression, really scary. The weight of emotion. But her eyes were almost popping out of their sockets, and she was huffing as if she had extreme amounts of pent up rage. Momo, Momo, the way she looked directly into Momo. the camera made me feel she despised me with all of her being. There was what no amusement do? there anymore. Her camera went blank again. Then the chat popped up. My heart stopped again. For a split second, there had been the same blackness, only for the lights to come back on. She wasn't alone anymore. 
It's Pyramid Head from freaking Silent Hill. Is that not Pyramid Head or Spy? Is it? So it's either Pyramid Head or Spy versus Spy. Oh, I got always knew those freaking cartoons and shows and games were up, up to no good. There was a man next to her with a black mask on. He made no movements other than look into the camera like the girl. The girl's neck creaked oh. to her side. It looked like it was causing her pain. Yeah, I would I would say so. The chat resumed. This time, uh, I screamed in fright kind of and fell off is my that? chair. There was another man with them now. He was standing next to the girl with the original one on the other side. Oh! This man he, had the same mask on. Did he do that? His hands were grasping Ooh. the girl's shoulders. Even with the subpar quality of the webcam, I could see the force with which the man dug his hands into the girl. Oh. It looked like he could rip her in two. The girl, however had a huge grin on her face. Her eyes were oh, mad no. with glee, or so it looked. Her teeth were perfectly lined up as her mouth spread into She's that got great teeth. grin. But I could see she was in pain. Even with the smallest sign of her smile fading, the man clenched his hands even tighter than before. Oh, she's, it's like he's forcing her to smile or something. Oh my god. Oh, what I say? I told you it was Doki Doki freaking the neck and everything, man. I know so many of you guys are gonna comment Natsuki. Teeth were perfectly yeah. lined. Is she like kidnapped or something? Smile even wider. Oh. All three of them were she's shaking. Like, <laughs> she's like, please, please look up. They're gonna kill me if you don't look up. <laughs> Extremely cold where they were. After a couple seconds, I realized they were shuddering, like trying to hold back laughter. What are you laughing at? I yelled into the screen. They didn't answer, and continued to tremor with concealed hilarity. What is so damn funny? Exactly! I bellowed. Tell me! They stopped shaking. Within a couple seconds, the screen went black again. When it turned back on, oh! the man no longer grasped oh! the girl's shoulder. Neither was she smiling. Her neck got fixed real quick! You need to freaking give me your chiropractor! <laughs> I'm so easily scared! You guys know this if you've ever seen me play a horror game. Upon a closer look, oh! I understood that Holy they crap! were at me. Michael, they turn around! Behind me. I didn't I mean, need I gotta to look turn back around too. and see myself in the webcam. Oh, God. There was someone peeking from behind oh, me. No. There was oh. another man in a mask. And according to what I saw in my Do webcam, roundhouse kick now. he was with me in my room. Right behind me. Oh. I turned around quickly, but saw nothing where I had seen him oh, in the that, webcam. That's where you, you just yeet the computer! The yeet it! To my bewilderment, saw a third man in the oh. girl's chat box. He was the same man I had just seen standing in my room. Whew. Now, all three had their hands on the girl and were gripping tight. The girl wasn't laughing anymore. She had a look of utter devastation. A tear was dropping from her eye. But it wasn't just a tear. Of course it was she's blood bleeding. trickling down her <laughs> Of course that was, that's what would happen. She then mouthed the words help me. And the next second she screamed oh as if her lungs were being ripped off as the screen went oh. black. Holy crap. I immediately got up and pulled the plug out of my computer and backed out of the room. For a couple seconds, I swear I heard her screams, even though the computer was unplugged. The room went quiet. But I was too devastated to stay there and ran out of my house despite it being 3 a.m. I caught a cab and went over to my friends, who had to talk me down for an hour before I could be calmed. I returned- Oh my god. Okay, and you know what? I'm probably gonna ruin this right now, but he's gonna find like one of his masks. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine. He's Everything one of them. Oh my the god. Same. And after thoroughly checking oh around god. the house, we concluded that there was no one there, nor was there a we sign know of this anyone is not true. ever having broken oh. in. <laughs> Okay, they weren't in my room. They must be in the cookie jar. Mommy always told me now not to look in the cookie jar. They must be in there. I've never gone back to the deep web. My friend suggested it might have been some prank by computer hackers, but the way that girl shrieked, the terror she had on her face, oh my God. it convinced me she had been a victim herself. I had wondered if I had stayed on for longer, if I would have become a victim too. Could those men have found me? Was there really someone in the room with me? There was nothing I could do, because there was nothing concrete to report to the police. What I did do was throw the computer out and buy a new one. He did! He heated it! <laughs> 
Good job, dude. I'm so I'm so glad. It's exactly what you needed to do. Whew. Holy crap, that was good. Is that SCP-049? It's a familiar to me, like references to SCP games. Is it really? Holy crap, it really does look like SCP-049, even though I didn't know what that was until right now. That's it, guys. I've turned this into a riddle. <laughs> Clearly, it was all a prank, and she just used a Snapchat filter to make the guy in the video. That must have been it. All right, I advise you to change your pantalones right now, okay? Because, you know, we talked about the pre-crap. So, yeah. <laughs> change them right now, because the next one we're going to react to is by Wansei Entertainment. Okay, uh, another channel that I reacted to that makes awesome, amazing horror animations. The one we're gonna react to today is called I Met a Guy Who Ate Humans. Because, uh, yeah, that's pretty scary. <laughs> so once again, check out Wansei Entertainment. I will link that channel down below as well. This happened when I was in college. I was 20 at the time, studying for an upcoming exam in biology. That is, until my roommate busted in my room. She wasn't yelling, but I could see she was she drunk looks by her herself. <laughs> I rolled my eyes and sighed. I completely lost focus now. But it was okay. I kind of gotten used to her behavior. She was a party girl while I was, well, a nerd. I tried to get back yeah, on I my reading relate. tracks again, but she patted me on the back and drunkenly giggled before speaking. Come on, Jasmine. Every time I see you, you're always reading a book. I sighed before speaking. And every time I see you, you smell of alcohol and vomit. She frowned at me. How about this? I'll be quiet all week if you come to this party tomorrow at 8. The only horror story here is her dank breath. <laughs> or should I say bunk? I wanted to say no, but then I thought about it. I mean, I do always work really hard. Besides, she won't barge in like this for the whole week? Sounds too good, I thought to myself. So, I nodded and continued to read. All right. We good, got ready. Good choice, I, I guess. Dressed Not up really. In ages, so I was we know kind the of title. excited. The party was loud, filled with drunk people making out, bumping and dancing. The party was <laughs> They're bumping and dancing? How atrocious. The party was hosted in a basement-like setting. Only it was much bigger and had a lot of space. I'm not going to lie. I did have a few drinks. Of course, you know, you're, you're there. I was definitely tipsy. You have some fun, so, you know? As my view became tilted, this guy comes out of nowhere oh, and no. small talk with me. Oh, he was no. fairly attractive. He didn't seem drunk. We met and exchanged names. I like how she, like, backed From this Markiplier. Denver, he had red dyed hair and blue eyes. <laughs> oh, my God, it's a Markiplier. And about <laughs> six feet. His name was Lu Imagine like that, you meet Markiplier. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. How are you doing? I eat humans. <laughs> His name was Luke. Oh, because now he we know he's not Markiplier. About topics like studying and books and that kind of thing. The talking went on for about a half an hour. He then wow. said, Okay, so they're hey, hitting it off. I'm going okay. to get another drink. Want anything? That I, I said, did. Why not? Don't I mean, take drinks from anybody fun. to party. So Especially if you don't on, know them. Came back with drinks. And the next thing I remember, we were making out in the corner of the party oh, room. Oh, okay. It was so quick. And then he asked me, want to go back to my place? Oh, the cool Which guy I line. I politely declined. I already know what he oh, wants. Why does he look angry? Besides, I needed to be on campus in the morning. Come on. I promise it'll be fun. <laughs> Good, it'll go I be okay. I don't... Trying to get it's me not to like go, I eat humans or anything. gave up after I made it clear I wasn't interested in going to his place. He rolled his eyes angrily and gave me a paper with a number on it. Fine. If you change your mind, give me a call. He leaned close to me and whispered against my ear. Then he walked out, and the rest of the night was a complete blank. The next He seems like a pretty good guy, I think. Next day, I woke up inside my college bedroom, on my bed, next to my roommate snoring on her bed as well. As I got up to shower, a paper fell out of my pocket. It was the number, which made me remember that guy. Oh, God. But I had more important things now. I showered then and went to study. I remember reading my book when all of a sudden I felt dizzy. Then I woke up in the bed with police officers and- What the heck? Oh, dang. Did he like give- did he give her something that like- Is that even possible? Like it didn't- it wasn't like immediately effective, but it was like- Effective later on. Honestly, in my opinion, a lot of parties are dumb anyway. Everyone just goes there because they think they're gonna find a girl or a guy. And you know, <laughs> I'm not saying you always don't, but most of the time you just stand there like trying to look cool and you're not like to me it's just dumb. I just like it's me personally. If you like parties, whatever. But me personally, I just think like uh, most parties are dumb and people are just bored and they, they don't know what to do, so they just go to the party. I'd rather be at home curled with the book and and 
making my YouTube videos. <laughs> it's true that I would just be like, you know, I don't really do that stuff anymore, but I would probably just be making videos if I was that age. Then it turns out I had this dangerous allergic reaction that could only be caused from saliva or any Holy bodily crap. that had come from decaying or rotting flesh, which oh. to my surprise was weird. I hadn't been kissing anyone, let alone ate anything raw. Oh my god! Then I remembered the guy. Oh my god! I didn't even put that together. Oh my god! I didn't even freaking put that together. Oh, that's terrifying. She was kissing a person that ate you. Oh my god! He looks way scarier now, Markiplier. How could you? That okay? That was I don't know why, but that hit me. That was like unexpected. Yeah, <laughs> never accept drinks from strangers. Exactly. I I feel like it should be very obvious, but uh, you'd be very surprised that there's a vast majority of women, uh, mostly women. I, I don't know if it happens to guys, but there, there's a vast majority of people that don't know this, and they need to know that. So you know, if you ever plan on going to a party one day, I hope you watch this video. Uh, and and figure it out. Uh, don't <laughs> even if you think you know the person uh, Maybe you don't maybe just don't take them. Maybe go get your own, you know Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Did you get spooked? Okay? I about crap my pants about 50 times during this video, okay? Uh, I, I really should invest in some diapers of some sort. But anyway again I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got really spooked out guys Be sure to check out Wanse Entertainment and Llama Arts and subscribe to their channels because it takes a long long time uh, for them to make these animations and I really respect all the work that does go into them So guys make sure you're checking them out and check out my other reactions. Okay guys uh, subscribe if you haven't already to become a scrub today And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye